Festival Fish Bowl! Proudly brought to you by Internode and their wicked internet beards. Backup.com.au Because computers can smell fear. Coming to you live from Peter O'Brien's and hosted by Jason Chong. It's Wednesday, the hump day. So get ready. There's only two more left after this. It starts immediately. Hi. Uh, uh, I got MMM on now. Hi, welcome to the show today. I'm a fish. Um, uh, you know what? We, we thought we'd do this. Didn't exactly think about what I would say. So, uh, welcome to the show. It's Festival with Fish Bowl. Uh, uh, what's, okay, here's, here's who's on today's show. That's what we'll do. Mickey D, no longer here. Thanks for updating that, Maz. No worries. <laughs> Good on you. Mickey D is in, uh, he, he went down south with his. Hey, come on now. Can you, can you give me a hand so I can give him the finger? No, it's too hard. <laughs> All right. Tommy Dasselow will be co-hosting. He's doing a show called Buckwild. Todd Gray is doing three shows. The one that he wants to plug the most is called The Ridiculous Files. Dante Winbush is doing a thing called Comedy Court. You'll see him. He's here from Sydney. And Aman, uh, he is uh, currently hungover, sleeping on a couch on the bench of PJ O'Brien's. Okay, enough of this. Let's. Wait, hang on, what does that mean? Oh, should we take a photo of him? He's so sure. All right. Curse you. You can take a photo of him if you want. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm a happy fish. Oh, no, you've ruined it. Right. Hey. This is Tommy hey. Dasselow. He'll be Hi. co-hosting tonight. Today, hey. whatever it is. Hello. Hey, man. Thanks for having me in. Thank you. Do you this, like this, that? This, that was seamless. That hey? was great. That yeah. was a bit of... I love a bit of... Is it clutch cargo? Is that what that, that term's called? The having the mouth... It's there is a name image. for that. Yeah. I think it's clutch cargo. Was it a show? I don't know where the term actually comes from. I think it was. I think it was a show. It was like one of those like Cartoon Network... Yeah. Adult swim kind of things. And they do it on uh, on Conan's show a lot. Not, not that I'm accusing you of, of being a rip-off merchant or whatever. No, no, no. I stole it from Rove That's when he used to do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're just handling stolen goods. <laughs> it's a thing that happens from time to time. Oh, edit that part out, by the way. Uh, no one's watching. doesn't matter. Uh, welcome, welcome along. Um, hey, thanks. It's how- always nice to get a call five minutes before oh, the program on. going, would you like to co-host Mickey D's at the Barossa Valley with his kid? Can you step in? I never said it was his kid. I just okay. Said it was a oh, kid. so he's he's just lifted a kid off the street and just he's on the run. It's fringe. He's kidnapped someone and he's gone on the run. Is you know, that what you? I lived with him for a couple of uh, like a couple of fringes ago. He stayed in my house for a month during fringe because I used to live over there. But isn't he from here? Yeah, but this was when he was kind of not from here. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. And uh, I saw it was really good for the first two weeks. We got it really well and everything was good. <laughs> And it's not that we didn't get along. It's just that I, for the second two weeks of fridge, I didn't see him at all. Right. He'd come home for like 15 minutes, go, oh, geez, I need a shirt, and then off again. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, That's how I picture him living his life all of the time. But yeah. I, um, I, when I come over here, I stay with uh, family friends of mine who are great. Yeah. They're, uh, they're an, an old... They're, like they're friends of your parents? Friends of my parents who've, uh, who've essentially become friends of mine. They're and cool though. Like They're great. Yeah, they, they kind of treat me like the son that they've never had. It's, it's nice. amazing. Like the first time I stayed with them, I went out. Uh, the first night I got here, mm. and then when I came home, there was a little note on a, on my pillow oh, of my bless. bed with a little Snickers bar on it saying, "Hey Tommy, hope you had a good night. Love David and Angela. That's great." They it's, and they give you chocolate before bed. They give me chocolate before bed. They rub my little tummy when I'm feeling sick. They That's lay my clothes out for me. Because whenever I like want a chocolate before bed, my parents would always say, "Give me nightmares." Maybe they just didn't want to give you chocolate. That's right. Yeah, that's that's. I hadn't, I hadn't heard that in ages, but that that is. My parents said that too. That's a and fact. Why else would my parents? It's say bullshit. That? Well, doesn't um doesn't cheat doesn't eating cheese before bed give you weird dreams? Or yes. Not? Yeah. Yes. yes. Is it confirmed. is it Definitely. cheese or is it all dairy? I I don't know. I used to eat cheese <laughs> deliberately a lot <laughs> to, of it before going to sleep. To yeah. Get and does it work? What, what, oh, what happens? Yeah. Very I, strange dreams. Yeah, I read an article in um. <laughs> I read an article in uh, Vice magazine. What a Melbourne thing to say! But uh, about um, and the article was this guy eating all these different types of cheese before he went to bed. Really, as sort of an experiment of um, of how to you know of, of what kind of dreams that he had, uh, which sounds like an awesome thing to do, just as an excuse. Very to Melbourne. Just eat heaps of cheese. Yeah. God, I love. I, it's one of my big shame things is just getting a bit of cheese out the just straight out of the packet. <laughs> We're going to get on to shame things in a minute. It's uh, good though. No, you, you, you do you have that. Do you have? Do you like if you you know if you're making a sandwich or whatever and you got a bit of cheese and yeah. you eat a little bit out of the bag and then for me it's just a downward spiral. Do you know what we do? Yeah, shoveling we we buy that grated cheese because we yeah. have a lot of yeah, toasties yeah. and so you can't just like <laughs> you've got it you've got to like 
Uh, oh, the minute you that you have the testing. minute that you have one little bit out of the bag, I find that's half the bag gone. Yeah. The same thing for me with peanut butter. How do you speak with me and M and M's for three weeks? Yeah, I'm gonna You're actually get in. So I'm gonna break my no M&Ms. my no chalky creed and, and Excellent. have a bit. Uh, um, now, uh, mm-hmm. I wanted to say, oh yeah, there's there's a chat room if you're uh, watching, yeah. there's a chat room there or down there, depending on where you're watching. If there isn't a chat room there or there, then get to this website here, festivalfishbowl.com.au or adelaidecomedy.com, you can do that too. I've always wanted to be able to do that. Spoken hey? in the chat room, do you want to see it? Someone has already spoken in the chat room. Well, that was what I was going to say, do that. Iced fuck the <laughs> chat room. <laughs> That's his username. Chong should, with that little... With that little... Oh, Can't. someone's saying a rude word. Okay, move over. Apparently we're going to sit there. I think I know who that might be, too. Who who, uh, who talks like that? In that I think it's a this is of warm and creepy now. I think it might be my friend John Carver. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. John Carver is the alias of a... He's got very colourful language comedian. in the chat room right now. Right. Pardon? His language in the chat room is very colourful. Oh, great. <laughs> that sounds like the Carver I know. We can only encourage that type of business. Excellent. <laughs> uh, if your language is colourful enough, you'll uh, get on the screen. And, and we, we have, you can ask our, our guest questions if you want, and that'll yeah. be good too. Now, uh, last night, how'd you go? Uh, what, what did you get up to last night? Uh, I wasn't there, so how well, would I know? Well, I, uh, I did my show. Yes. My show, Buck Wild, at 9.30 good. at Format Art Space. Nice. Um, is Street. it a good show? It's, I'm happy with it. I think it's a lot of fun. People came and enjoyed it last night. It was good. Um... Mm-hmm. Mm, nothing. Mm. It's fine. It's interesting. Um, that was good. Uh, and uh, then I went and did a spot at the Rhino Room Late Show. Excellent. And uh, had a had a probably good killed it there too. Uh, you know, it was it went well. Yeah. It was not one to you know. You're quite good. I've, I've I I got a lot of nothing. Um, no, it was good. Uh, and then after that, I believe mm-hmm. a, I went out with a group consisting of uh, Gordon Southern, yeah, uh, Danny McGinley, yes. and yourself to uh, no, no, okay, including but not ex- not exclusively to the Crazy Horse Review. My fiance came too, uh, Mum. If you're watching, I don't know you. I don't know you're engaged. Yeah, I'm totally going to marry that. Oh, that computer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm such a mag- I'm fanboy <laughs> from way back. Cool. Well, you congratulations. Um, yeah. Nice. But yeah, that and that was a very that was a very thrilling experience it being is. at the strippers with a group of men with their fiancés and wives. Yeah. That sort of made it feel less creepy. Made it feel less scummy. Yeah. yeah. It made me because I'm I've been here for a, about a week and a half now, and you know I, I have a, I have a girlfriend back in Melbourne and I you know during the day was feeling a bit lonely and I thought going to the strippers would make me feel less lonely mm. didn't do that at all had the had the opposite effect I don't know yeah you were because my girlfriend is a stripper I should point out yeah <laughs> oh good well it's nice to go work where it all started yeah 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 I am um, it's not weird when you go with a girl for some reason it's no, still a bit it's weird it's still a bit weird but no I don't think it's weird at all because I was saying this at the time I've been to the strippers before no with friends I've only been yeah. once before with friends for a mate's going away party it's but always we, dirty it was because we went in the way of like yeah a bunch of lads going on the strippers and it was just a bit like a bit in you know I just didn't get into it I found it really gross but I think the way we did it last night was the perfect way to go mm. where you go with a group and, and you make step f- remote and you're there going and you point at booze and you it? giggle yeah exactly Exa- and the mural that's on the wall there that we were talking about the yeah. stained Glass window to try Don't and use the word it. stained and then give a big <laughs> pause like that. <laughs> <laughs> Stains on the stained glass window. Um, it's to, that's the best way to describe it. What is it? It's a giant it's centaur. A, it's a centaur raping a woman. Raping a woman on the edge of a cliff. Yeah. So she pushes. So back. if she if she backs away for yeah. any reason at all, it's curtains. What would what? That's a hell of a Don't choice. Don't use that. curtains. That's either. like a that, <laughs> oh. that's a hell of a that's like a hypothetical. Would you rather yeah. tumble to your death off a cliff or be raped by a centaur? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and but uh, it, it freaked me out because someone would have had to have made that. Like they're probably quite proud of it. They're probably like, there's some, some guy. Someone had to say, "Can you make me this? This is what I'm thinking." How do you oh, make what? stained glass? <laughs> Don't know. Do, is, does it involve? I think you just get normal glass and you leave it in the crazy horse for twenty years. Yeah, isn't there something with firing it though? Don't you you melt it in some way or something like that? Anyone in the chat room? Do you know how to make yeah, that is a beautiful image though. A guy there with a blowtorch just going, "This is art. Oh, oh. This is art that I'm making." Yeah. <laughs> make the centaur's cock <laughs> bigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put a bit more fear into her face. <laughs> the game I enjoyed that we started playing last night was um, phoning it in. You know, when, oh, yeah. when a scribble came out, we try and work. You know, is she giving a good performance or yeah. is she just uh, the you parallels between performing a comedy show at the fringe and getting yeah. it's all about eye contact. Is, 
Yeah. It was all about uh, skipping. Yeah. Well, there was Go one on. girl that got unanimous, yeah. uh, you know, uh, respect from our table. And then everyone else pretty much just... The girl that was on when we got in there... Oh, actually, no, you, you came late. You came late and you did a... You did a spectacular <laughs> thing there. You walked up the stairs and came right over to our table like the Don of Adelaide, yeah. just thinking you didn't have to pay to get in. While I you, forgot. While I everyone, long I, people are at the door record. having to pay for you and security had come over going, what's he doing? There was, it was awesome because it was one of those things where there was quite a commotion going on behind you, but you couldn't see that. <laughs> no. So you were just sitting there going, hey guys, how's it going? Are we getting a beer or what? And you're just minutes away And my fiance me. was sitting there had, had, and, and like, we'd had the conversation downstairs. She was like, is there an ATM around here? I'm like, ah, oh, don't worry, I'll pay for it, it's fine. <laughs> and then by the time I'd walked up the stairs, I'd completely forgotten that conversation. And she, <laughs> and she was polite and stayed there while I just... Yeah, just straight in, just schmoozing, <laughs> schmoozing. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'll be going back though. I had, I had my fun, but... You know. What are you trying to save yourself from hell now? No, I'm not trying to. I just. Yeah, how many you know, jokes you made about yeah, this not, poor like, girls last night? No, you I, deserve. You, <laughs> you owe it to these ladies. Yeah, these yeah. Princesses. Okay, yeah. I was pretty. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get. I didn't buy the crazy horse bucks and splash down any more money. <laughs> which is, I guess, that's funny that you have to buy into the American currency. You have to. Yeah. Well, I guess I think they're only worth like a dollar or two, and you yeah. can't really put coins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think th I would say that you can yeah, I don't think you get changed though not legally but <laughs> change who wants change from a dollar coin at, who wants change for a dollar at the strippers well you saw some of them phoning it in yeah that's true that's true yeah you think you're worth a dollar <laughs> yeah anyway we should probably uh, get on with the show we've talked 15 minutes about are strippers are we gonna strip no oh. oh if you want you, str you stripped at the uh, I did. when you sang with us the band on Saturday. Yeah, I did. What I the hell was that about? Well, you know what it was about? It was about getting paranoid that I can't sing and thinking, well, what I'll do what is if I, I can't sing, yeah, I'll, I'll create a spectacle and I'll just get into the crowd and do a bit of light sexual assault. That'll get me through. But then Big Al was on a couple of acts before me and he took his kid off. Yeah. So by the time I did it, it was just I just looked like a hack. How depressing is that? You can be a hack for taking your shirt off. Yeah. It's old hat. You're the wrong type of naked. Seen it. Yeah, exactly. The wrong type of... After, yeah, after Big Al. Yeah, yeah. It was, I'm just kind of... I'm just sort of out of shape. Like, it's not enough Come of on. a fucking... Come on. You're alright. Um, look, I'm doing okay. I'm doing alright. Mate, ask me what I bench. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I'm me assuming either. that's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing people who... What do you say? ...take is care it, of their bodies do. Is it in kilojoules? I've got no idea. <laughs> kilojoules. Yeah, I can bench a whole... I can eat a whole bag of gummy lollies sitting <laughs> on a bench. That's how much I can eat. <laughs> a whole bag of snakes. That's how I went through school. Really? Just alone on a bench eating gummy bears. I was a fat kid at school. Really? Yeah, I've still got a lot of a lot of anxieties about it. The chat room wants you to take shirt off. No. You, yeah. There's no not... name attached to that. Like, it's... Later. Oh, what? Oh, maybe later. Okay. Yeah? Okay, maybe later. Maybe later. Is there some kind of goal that we can reach where if we get enough people... All right, you know what? I'll take Usually we off. don't get if if we if we double the amount of viewers. What are we what are we on right now? This will be depressing. <laughs> if there's only one. There's no one in the chat room. That's just Maz on the thing. No, so. no, no. Ah, okay. Can we can we check that? Oh yeah. Eight. That's not much. Okay. If we get to if if we get to thirty. Yeah. Okay. If we get thirty viewers, I'll I'll get I'll get my kid off. All right. So uh, it's doing? not a personal best. Get stuff. <laughs> So uh, if you're in the chat room, retweet, start start retweeting and getting other people to join. If we hit 30, that's <laughs> take your shirt off. Yep. Sweet. Well, let's get uh, started with the actual show. Uh, Todd, do you want to come on first? Yeah, All right, you go that way. We'll play some ads and we'll be back with a thing. Synergy. You're watching Festival Fishbowl live from PJ O'Brien's. <laughs> 